In this video, we're going to talk about exporting a Unity scene in the Orbix format so that it can be edited in Octane Standalone. And we'll be using the Recorder feature of Octane for Unity to do this. So for this video, I'm using the Space Filling Station. And uh, if I select the PBR Render Target, we'll take a look. Uh, I'm currently using a camera called Main Camera, which is this camera right here. And it's actually an animated camera. So if I go to the timeline here, you can see if I scrub on the timeline, you can see that the camera just does a simple pan across the scene. And it's animated over about 150 frames. So let's create a quick render. So I'm going to select a PBR render target and choose render. And there we can see the scene being rendered. I'll switch to denoised so we can see a nice clean version of the scene. So now what I want to do is to export as an Orbix file, I'll go to the Octane menu and I'm going to choose Recorder. Now it says down here that multiple passes are selected. But this is actually not true. I don't have any render passes in this particular scene. But I do want to make sure that I select my PBR render target. So it's selected right here. And you can see I have it chosen in this menu right here. You can have multiple PBR render targets within a Unity scene. So make sure that you have the one selected that you want to export to uh, Orbix. And I'm going to set the recorder mode to Orbix recorder. Uh, geometry format I'll leave as Alembic, but you can see we're in the process of developing a FBX version as well. Let's choose Alembic for now. And then uh, I'm going to choose where I want to put the file. So I'm going to use the default setting, which is users, admin, app data, local lol, default company, and then the name of the scene, space filling station. And it's going to create a folder in there with the date and time on it, and then name the um, Orbix file after the scene and render target name, and then the Orbix extension. So I'm going to set the uh, duration mode to frame interval. And let's set the first frame to one, and then the last frame to 150. That's the length of the scene. And then I'm gonna press start, and it's actually going to give me a warning. It says it's going to switch to play mode. So that's okay, so let's press yes. Okay, so it's done. So let's take a look in that folder. And here we see the folder with the date and time on it. And then we have our scene, it's an Orbix file. So I'm just gonna right click over this and choose open with Octane standalone. So I'm using 4RC5, so let's open that up. And here's the scene. So I'm gonna go into the node editor and find the PBR render target and select that. And when we select it, you'll see it'll start compiling the scene. And in a few seconds, we have a nice render. I'm gonna to switch to the denoised version. So it's nice and clean. But you can also see that we have a timeline here. So if I start scrubbing through this, you can see that it's playing the animation. And we've got a little bit of motion blur on there and everything. So it looks pretty nice. So that's how the basics of how to export a scene to the Orbix format using the recorder feature in Octane for Unity. Now let's take a look at how we can import an Orbix file uh, from Octane Standalone into an existing scene. So I'm gonna go into Octane Standalone. I've created a new file here and this is a VDB. So it's a volume 
that was imported into Octane Standalone, and I gave it some attributes, made it a little bit thick, kind of give it a reddish kind of grayish color, which is odd, so maybe a little bit more orangish. But very simple scene, just has the VDB in it and the render target, the VDB is this volume. So let's export this as an Orbix. So I'm gonna choose File, Save as Package. I'll just go up here and I'm just gonna call this cloud.orbix. Now let's go into Unity. And I'm gonna choose Octane, Import Orbix. So I need to select the file. Here it is right here. Choose open. I'm going to create a plug it. I'm going to create a folder. Let's just call this uh, import Orbix. Select that folder. The folder must be empty, so it should be pretty cool. And let's choose import. Okay, and you can see here's Cloud Orbix right here. So let's switch to the Move tool and bring this forward and up. Expand this, you can see here's the VDB file right here. So let's choose PBR Render Target and do a render. Let's actually switch our camera. So I'll go to PBR render target, and I'm gonna set the camera to uh, editor. And you can see this little dark cloud right here is our VDB file. So I'm gonna select the cloud.orbix object and let's scale it up and move it. Let's select the VDB Orbix and choose View Source. So now we just have the scene here. So you can see it's rendering within our scene, but I can select the VDB file and maybe start adjusting its settings. So for example, maybe I wanna have it a little bit less dense, maybe a bit more wispy. And even see while I'm editing it here, it'll update over here. Uh, I could even, oh, that's a little bit too thin. So let's bring up the density again. And maybe we'll add an emission. So we'll do like a black body. Now we have a nice bright flaming blue fog smoke. It's kind of hard to miss. It's even casting light in the scene. It's just a little intense at the moment. So let's set the power down to 10 and turn on surface brightness. And maybe bring the power down to like five. So it's pretty cool. Oh, a nice way to add a cool effect into the scene that's being rendered in Octane within Unity. So that's how you import an Orbix file. And you can see the Orbix file is represented by this cube. It can consist of a single scene element like this VDB file, or it could be an entire scene that's been put together in Octane Standalone that you want to uh, import into your Unity scene. So uh, whatever you prefer, but it's very easy to do.